defining roles and, and making and ensuring that we have the infrastructure. Former BCSO Sheriff Manny Gonzalez is now running for State Senate District 23. Manny Gonzalez has been running for different elective offices lately. Gonzalez announcing his bid for U.S. Senate, but disqualified from that race just last month. I'm sure he will have learned his lesson from the U.S. Senate where he was disqualified for not having enough petition signatures. Campaign finance records with the New Mexico Secretary of State shows Gonzalez filed to run for state Senate on March 4th. Now the fact that he switched from Democrat to Republican, the registered Republicans in this district would vote for any Republican candidate. Um, however, only 32% of the people in this district are registered Republicans. But KOAT political expert Brian Sanderoff telling me past controversies could hurt his chances of winning. Only because his political opponents would be sure to highlight them. They're not going <laughs> to let that go. The latest, a multi-state machine gun buying scheme. They demo class three weapons, you know, short barrel rifles, automatic firearms for the purposes of either assessing whether or not the department wants to acquire those weapons or to demonstrate to other officers what to expect if they encounter them out on the street. Gonzalez and his former undersheriff Rudy Mora named only by initials in this indictment but have not been charged with any crime. Sandoroff goes on to say the former sheriff has other hurdles to face. Senate District 23 is a Democratic leaning district. Also, it has a strong incumbent in Senator Pope. Pope. So this would be a tough race for, for any District Republican. The challenge in a district like this is to get some of the independents and some of the Democrats to switch sides and vote for the Republican. He first would have to get through a Republican primary because there's another candidate running in the Republican primary. If Gonzalez wins the primary, he'll face Democratic incumbent Harold Pope in November. Time will tell whether Manny Gonzalez will file his petition signatures on March 12th.